Hello Aries, how are you guys doing today? Welcome into this reading. This reading we're going to look at your love situation, what's going on with you with regards to love. We're going to have a look at the recent past and then we're going to look at the, the, the immediate future that's coming in. So let's clear the space first before we begin as usual of any of the previous readings that I have done on this table. If I can get the charcoal block to burn, burn it must. There we go. So let's clear the space of any recent energies that have been around here, previous readings that I have done. And then we call in your spirit guides to please guide us in this reading. Show us what we need to know, please spirit guides. And then we're going to get out a... Um, at the end of the reading, we can get some advice out for them as well. You are also getting high vibes all the way through this reading until the end of the reading so that your day goes amazingly wherever you may be let's get out recent past energy then we're going to look at recent future on this side, immediate future on this side here let's see what's going on here by the way guys if you do want to have a personal reading with me they are marked down until the end of june so you can check that out if you want to do so link in description box below recent past conflict oh, and needing to heal okay so this is the star card coming up here, which is a card that talks about healing. Because when we heal ourselves, we can literally live a better life than what we've had. So it's a star energy. With this, it's the Five of Swords energy. So this is an energy here of conflict that has happened, win or lose. I feel like you may have lost in a situation. Because we, if we are a winner, we don't need to heal from anything. So there is definitely something definitely going on here. I want to get some cards out here for future, for immediate future energy. We're going to turn them over now. now. I just want to see what's going on here. We're going to go deeper into that. I do feel like um, this is a breakup that you've been through. I cannot put it any other way because um, I feel like you, it's like you lost something. You lost your heart. You broke your heart kind of energy and you had to heal from the situation. You may still be in healing right now. Um, with this win or lose coming up here, this is a card of of conflict. So I want to look more into that. Spirit guides, please show us what is this five of swords got to do with Somebody shut you out here. The conflict arose from the fact that somebody has shut you out with the Four of Pentacles being there. Um, this is a card where somebody has shut you out. They put up their walls against you. They were um, secretive as well. They were not telling you maybe the whole truth. This caused conflict. Let's go a little bit deeper in here. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. They were not telling you the whole truth. Somebody lied to you. Um, you got the moon card coming up here, which is Pisces' energy as well. It is also um, <clears throat> the star card being here is Aquarius' energy also. Um, with the moon card, it's in the reverse position. This moon card, it's a card of lies. It's a card of deception. And I felt that coming from the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles talks about very closed off energy. So I kind of like felt like I heard the word, heard your spirit guide go, deception. And here comes the moon card. Without a doubt, lies were told in this connection to you. That's why you were the loser here. And the sun card in the reverse position, it is your healing, guys. Wow. The sun card coming up here in the reverse position, you had to change how you look at world. How you look at the world around you, you had to change where your focus was. Because you know the sun talks about enlightenment. It talks about... When, we, when the sun comes out, we see everything clearly. In the nighttime, you know, when it's dark, we don't see every little detail of every little thing in the world. And when the sun comes out, it's like the revealing of truth. It comes out, it shows us the truth. And the truth, you know, we can look at something in the dark and we can see a room and it looks good in the dark. And then when the morning, the sun comes up in the morning, we notice that there's some mess in the corner there and then there's dust on the floor and it's not as perfect as we thought it would be. And it's like the revealing of truth. That's what the sun does. It brings light into the darkness and you see the truth. And when you do see the truth, all it can hurt you because I see somebody did lose here and that's why you need the healing. But it also talks about being set free from being held in a place of lies. Even though it's painful to go through something like this, imagine staying in something like this. I'm going to tell you something about my personal life. All right? I was married um, for a long, long time and only... I, there was a lot of problems in the marriage. I was married like literally for 17 years. And then I found out that like eight years before we had the breakup, that this person has been having an affair or had an affair or different affairs. And you find out about that eight years later, 
you would rather find out about this now than look back and start to remember funny things that were happening, ways that they were treating you. I'm a very trusting person, you see. So I kind of like uh, believe somebody when they say something to me. I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? Uh, not like that anymore, no. But uh, the thing is, yeah, with this card, it's like you found out the truth, even though it was painful, you needed to heal from it. At the moment, you were losing. But it's better you found out the truth now then be Deborah and find out about it eight years later. You know what I mean? So you don't want that at all, guys. You want to set yourself free with those chains breaking there. Okay, let's look at the immediate future. You've set yourself free. You will find love, guys. Mm, Sagittarius card coming up here. Temperance energy. This is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> you are going to meet somebody. This is coming together. It is the Two of Cups. Who The Two of Cups is my favorite card. It's a nice energy with the balance energy coming up here. It's a cautious energy with the balance energy coming up here. This is temperance energy. So it talks about you are going to meet somebody very, very soon. This could have happened quite a while ago already or a couple of months or even a couple of weeks way back. At the beginning of the year, even last year, possibly even further back for some of you guys. Hey? Um, you know about this connection, what I'm talking about. With this... Um, coming to the together energy there is a soulmate that's there for you oh Aries and they are coming into your world and I love the way that it's coming in because this energy is balanced and I'm finding something so interesting I do like to zoom in on my cards so you'll see that there's this pink kind of energy and a little light but look at the temperance is that same pink glowing light with a light shining on the inside here this is the same energy it is going to go slowly it is going to grow over time to become something very very strong it is a cautious energy moving forward of course because of what has occurred here recently i did say recent past for you guys but i do feel like for some of you guys it can be way back i'm just saying um this energy is very cautious it's like you're going to get to know this person a card flipped around five of cups energy <clears throat> wow let's have a look in the media future you're still healing but you're gonna you're gonna get it right. You're still healing healing right now. You're still in the process of healing. Oh nice, this is fated, guys. Ooh, I love, love, love. They are letting you know this process must be sorted out what has happened here the healing i do feel like you're still in it with the five of cups energy especially because it's a five of cups there and a five of swords there you still carry um what you have been through with you with that energy being there but what i like about this coming through here is that um i feel like you've sacrificed a lot of yourself as well if you look like this woman's like literally sacrificing herself on the rocks here and or she didn't sacrifice herself she was put there nobody nobody does that okay and it's because of what you've experienced the five of cups is a card of pain and suffering you're still in that energy but the good news is guys is that you're going to come out of this you are going to heal. Definitely, this is the healing that's still taking place. Remember something, even though it's like you've been through a lot here, this is water that's coming up and washing over you. And it's the water that's going to cause the healing in you, the pain, even though it's rough and it's hard to go through, but the water is always healing. And remember, water is the tears that we cry. And sometimes when we cry... Um, you know when the 10th was here and we had that solar eclipse? I had like a breakdown on that day. I was like crying about a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, oh, it's the great purging. Just carry on crying. And I enjoyed a day of crying. And I felt amazing the day after that. And that's almost like the feeling that I still feel like you get into sometimes. It's going to stop. You're going to be facing something beautiful that's coming in here because of the Ace of Swords that's coming in. That's a card of victory. That's a card of triumph. That's a card of succeeding in something. <clears throat> And this something that you are succeeding in has got to do with this Wheel of Fortune. This is a fated event that's coming here, a fated person that's coming towards you. And with the Wheel of Fortune coming in as well, it does talk about very positive energy that's coming. Because when the wheel turns, it's like you're leaving these tears. You're going to be successful. It's almost like you're breaking karma here. And then you have the wheel that will turn into this coming together energy. This is nice. Let's get a sacred traveler. I feel like using the sacred traveler oracle this week. I just got the vibe for it. I feel like we're on the journey of life. So let's see what your spirit guides will have God to say to you with regards to this connection. Let's see what they say with regards to what is occurring to you where you're going let's see what they come up with get ready for new horizons oh they're telling you they're telling you there's someone coming here it's chaotic now 
and that's another thing they're telling you there's this energy a lot of water going on here um with this chaotic water being rough here i feel like it's in the card look at all the stuff that's floating around in the water it may look messy right now but where you are going, it's going to be something new that's coming in. So they are saying, yes, this person can be a bit far away from you currently right now. Your energy is still of healing. Because look into the immediate future. The hurt is still here. But you're going to overcome this. And somewhere in the future, yeah, you've got a fated event that's coming in. A person that comes in here. It can even be a fire sign with this uh, temperance energy. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely Sagittarius's card. So they could have a very, such a, a very strong uh, Sagittarius placement as well. The person that you're dealing with may have been one of these energies. It may have been a Pisces. It may have been a uh, Aquarius energy in the past that you were dealing with or strong placement of this. Um, <clears throat> my throat is cronky, guys. So with this new horizons, they're asking you to get ready. And by getting ready, it means working on your healing. Yes, I speak about it again. It's very important. Work on the healing as you are moving forward because victory does lie in your future that is coming in but the immediate future the victory that you need to get is to work on your own energy and healing yourself being kind to yourself being loving to yourself and sometimes cry when you need to and then sometimes um you know listen to some nice music and just dance around the room because that's how healing takes place and that is going to bring victory in in the future that is a fated event that's coming there's a time and a date where you're going to meet this person it's there and it's going to happen no matter what prepare yourself for that there we go guys i'm wishing you all the best and have an amazing rest of your day thank you so much for watching this video bye